Good evening. I hope you had a wonderful Saturday in the Lord. We are in the fourth chapter of Genesis. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered what was the factor that was unacceptable to the Lord as far as Cain's offering? Right? We know that Cain was a gardener, a tiller of the land, and his brother, Abel, was a farmer. Right? And Abel gave the first firstlings, the fat, and he offered it to the Lord. And it says God was, was satisfied. He accepted him. And we're talking about Adam and Eve's children. But when Cain gave his offering, mm -mm, it says in verse 5, But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very, what? He snapped. It says he was wroth and his countenance fell. It's very key what happens next. The Lord asks him, well, why? Why are you angry? And then in verse 7, this is very important. God says, if thou doest well, if you apply yourself, if you... Follow the instructions. Now, we don't have any backstory as far as what were the requirements of a worthy sacrifice. We don't know that. Perhaps God gave him instruction ahead of time. Like I said, we do not know why God rejected him. Uh, was it that God saw that his heart wasn't pure? But the point is, God said, if thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? So you have a chance to turn this around. Hello? And if thou doest not well, if you refuse, if you're stubborn, if you're stubborn and say, you know what, I'm not going to do this. Mm -mm. You know what? Uh-uh. Forget it. Then God says, sin lieth at the door. How many times do we get offended or someone is like, mm -mm. you know what? It's because of my pride or they won't actually say that. But we know that. They're going to uh, just refuse the Lord's instruction or they're just so hard hearted that they don't want to change. And this is a scripture we read earlier today. And I'm going to read it in two versions. Proverbs 27. Where are you? 22. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle. Yet will not his foolishness depart from him. What did I just say? This means if you crush a stubborn fool, someone who's just so hard in a mortar with a pestle along with grain, even his stupidity will not leave him. A pestle is a, a machine, right? To, to smash, right? And what, what, what the proverb is saying is you can't even do that. St stupidity and foolishness will not come out of this person because they're so hard. And I believe Cain was like that, that he was so wroth that he went to the point where he what? Right. He murdered his brother. And all the Lord was saying is if you do well, how many times can you think of perhaps a young person or you could think of an old foolish person where they don't want to change. They don't want to put forth the effort. They don't want to listen to the instruction that the Lord has given them to make adjustments, right? So they rather take the shortcuts, be lazy, slowful, do it their own way. And then when they see that sin is at their door, they're left to holding up people, carjacking, lying, hustling, that's what we're seeing in our, our communities in so many cases. We don't want to do the work and apply ourselves and do well in the front end so we don't have any options in the back end. Come on, you all. Let's challenge each other. Let's be iron sharpening the iron. And let's not be like Cain, but let's make sure that we are offering the most excellent sacrifice at all times ourselves. All right, have a good evening in the Lord and get good sleep.